Hey guys, so when you're doing these problems with parallel lines and transversals, the first thing you want to do is highlight the angle they give you, just one of the angles they give you, and then highlight its vertical angle, and then copy that same pattern on the next intersection. So top right corner, bottom left corner. And all of the angles I highlighted are all congruent. To each other. So pink angles are congruent to the pink angles. And just in case you forgot what congruent means, congruent means that their measures are the same. So if their measures are the same, that means the measure of this angle is 83 degrees and all of the other angles are 83 degrees. So I'm just copying what was originally there. So now I'm going to find the remaining angles and I'm gonna use green for those. And notice these have the same type of pattern going on. We've got a set of vertical angles and then we copy the same pattern on the second intersection. And all of those angles are congruent to each other. Now something you should know about these two colors um, that we've used. If we were to add the pink angle or one of the pink angles to one of the green angles, their sum would be equal to 180 degrees. So that means in order to figure out what the measure of the green angle is, I'm going to have to plug in the information I already have. So pink angle is equal to 83 green angle, we don't really know what that is. We could put a little green block there or we could call it X, I like X better. And then that's gonna be equal to 180. And now we've got a basic one-step equation to solve. From here, we're gonna do 180 minus 83. We've gotta subtract the 83 on both sides. and that's going to be equal to 97. So that means all of our green angles are equal to 97. So I'm gonna add that to my picture and then we're done with the first example. All right, to do the second example, I'm going to do the same thing, but before I do the color thing, let's talk about the angle relationship between these two angles they gave us. These angles are both in the top right corner of their intersections. So this one's in the top right corner and this one's in the top right corner. Angles in matching corners are called corresponding angles. All right, so now I'm gonna color code my picture to figure out whether my corresponding angles are congruent or supplementary, meaning that their sum is equal to 180. So I'm gonna highlight just one of the angles. Then I'm going to highlight a vertical angle. And then I'm going to copy the same pattern on the second intersection. All right, so based on our colors, the two angles they gave us are both pink. Pink angles are congruent, so that means they're equal to each other. Their measures are equal. So to solve for x, we're going to set them equal to each other. And we've got a basic multi-step equation to solve from here. First, we would subtract the 13 on both sides. Then we would divide by five, and so x is equal to eight. Also, for a problem like this, we already know that all of the pink angles are equal to 53 degrees. So if this question asks us to find the measure of this top right angle, then we know that this angle is 53 degrees. All right, I'm gonna go into the next part. So for this problem, I'm going to do the same exact thing, but before I do that, 
First, I want to figure out the angle relationship between the angles they gave me. They're both on the exterior, the outside of the parallel lines, and they're on the same side of the transversal. So they're outside of my parallel lines, they're on the outside, and they're on the right side of the transversal. All right, so now I'm going to color code this. Notice this time, I only colored this angle when I copied the pattern. This angle was not highlighted pink. All right, so I'm going to highlight all the other angles that I didn't color green. And earlier, remember, we said the pink and green angles are supplementary to each other. And supplementary means that their sum is equal to 180. So to solve for x, I'm going to add the two angles. And then we've got a multi-step equation to solve. So there's our answer. And just like with the previous problem, um, all the green angles are equal to 60. And if we wanted to figure out the measure of the pink angle, all we need to do is just plug in 20. So let's actually practice that. Let's pretend this problem said, find the measure of the pink angle. So we would continue from here and we would plug in 20 and two, the pink angle where X is. So it would be three times 20 plus 60. And from there, you could either simplify this and do some mental math to figure out the answer, or you could type this into your calculator. Either way, your answer will be 120 degrees. And that would be if it asked you to find the measure of the pink angle. All right, so now we're going to end all of this with the final problem. And for my final problem, I'm going to start it off the same exact way as before. Um, I'm going to highlight one of the angles they gave me. Let's highlight this one. And then we're going to highlight a vertical angle to that one and copy the pattern on the second intersection. Both angles are on the inside of the parallel lines and on the right side of the transversal. So these are same side interior angles. And as we see with the colors, same side interior angles are supplementary. So to solve for X, we're going to add the two angles and set them equal to 180 degrees. So X is equal to 45. All right, this problem not only says solve for X, but it's also asking us to find the measure of each angle. So to do that, we're going to continue this problem and we will plug the X into each of the angles. So I'm gonna do the green angle first. All right, I got that the green angle is equal to 115. And now I'm going to plug in 45 to figure out the measure of the pink angle. And for the pink angle, I got 65. And that's how you do these problems.